ready? That's all ever be. All right, let's play some pinball on the Wii U. <laughs> so Try. I just actually went to the pinball arcade, and I was curious to see if you could still buy any of the Williams games on here because you can't buy them on Steam or iPad anymore, and you probably can't buy them on. Uh, Android since uh geez, who is it? I'm trying to think of the other the other pinball makers there that have it now. Farsight's who did it originally, right? Yeah, it's Farsight. And who did it? Pinball Effects, is that it? Pinball Effects 3? And they've got the Williams stuff now. Mm. But, uh, where you can buy them. And they're, they're really nice looking, and some people say the physics are better. I'm not sure I like them better, but they, they you know, probably is. But they also add toys, like animated toys on the screen. But they don't have a lot of Williams games yet, because they just, I don't know what's going on. They just are not pumping them out like, like Farsight Studios did. So... You could still buy them on here on the Wii, which probably is the same for PlayStation 3 or Xbox, uh, whatever version was out at the time. Because I'm guessing it's grandfathered in because this was an app you could download back then. And these systems are still available. I would have thought they would have shut it down, but I just bought one today. And what, what's today? June 20th? 20th, 2022. So um, I'm thinking I might also buy Elvira scared stiff on here because that's one of my favorites and it'd be nice just to have even though I have it on other systems but uh, let's give this a shot and see I mean it's not as clean as it looks on on the computer like downloaded from Steam which we have them on there let's start that up am I starting it? it's starting I don't know what that little cog is up there. You see, it looks like it's messed up. Mm. A little splotch. I don't know if they've changed their graphic or something. And I bought Diner a while ago. But your favorite's pretty much Pinbot, so we bought that today. I kind of show people that all these are still available. Like that, if you don't have this, Attack from Mars, you should have... Um, some of these are classic, like Black Hole and Black Knight, just to have them. Uh, that's the second Pinbot machine, Bride of Pinbot. Circus Voltaire, um, I don't care for as much. I like Creature from the Black Lagoon. Elvira and the Party Monsters. Funhouse, I get bored with because I'm really good at it, so I can play, like, way long. Genie is not as fun as playing the real table, so it's it's great to have, but, I mean, these collections are usually about 30 bucks now. And, uh, or you can buy, well, I'll show, you can buy one of them with another table usually for about $5 until you get into the fourth and fifth season, and then you're just getting one table as, you know, the system's got, I mean, as the... Machines got more complex and probably more expensive. Oh, like this. I mean, Attack from Mars and Genie. That's a good set to buy. That's a good old classic one and uh, one from, you know, the Middle Age of pinball, I guess you'd call it. I don't know if it's the Middle Ages, but it's not quite the Golden Age. So, uh, Gorgar is pretty fun but basic. Monster Bash is really good. That's another one to get. People like Ripley's a lot. I don't know if I like it that much, but it is. It's, it's pretty good. I don't tend to like Stern pinball machines as much as Bally or Williams because of the way they handle. I don't feel like I have the same control over Stern pinball machines, which is, of course, one of the companies that's still available. Scared Stiff is really fun. I don't care for this. I mean, I'm sure there's people that love it. Taxi is really fun. But we have a lot of these already on other systems, and they're not my favorite, so to, to replicate it on here is not that important. So Season 2, this is where... Um, I haven't played this one much. I have it on the other downloads. Uh, Champion Pub's okay. Class of 1812 is okay. Cue Ball Wizard is, uh, you know, 
it's probably more fun playing that in a real arcade. Doctor Dude. Uh, this I did not like El Dorado. They they reused this table layout several times over the years, kind of like Pinbot, but I don't like any of those. Firepower is pretty basic but fun. Uh, Flight 2000 I don't like going nuts. I don't like it all. Haunted House is um, pretty good. It's it's unique. Gottlieb ones are okay too. Uh, Space Shuttle is another Williams one where I can play forever. It's it's a, it's too easy. But if you're not good at pinball, Space Shuttle, or learning the rules of Funhouse, you could play for a long time. Tidoff is okay. Terminator Two is fine. Um, Whirlwind's pretty fun. Uh, Whitewater we've got somewhere. I haven't played it as much. Cactus Canyon. I can't even remember if we have that one. We might. But even if you download this and you have a uh, a Wii U still, you can before before it's gone. You can download this and then you can play every table for free until you get to the first high score that they put up. So for some people that aren't good at pinball, you know they'd be able to play a whole game several times until they get used to it, and then would also let them know if they like the way the table plays. Uh, so let's go into season three. This must be where pinball was hiding, or was it in the other one? It was in the other one. But as I get further on with these, um, I don't have any of these. I've got high speed on something I never really liked high awesome. speed. There's not a lot in these seasons, and just out of curiosity, I mean, there's very few. So if I try and buy one of these, it's probably going to be $5 for just one table instead of two. Yeah, see right there, Black Knight 2000 is the updated version. But again, you get for $30 you only get a couple of tables compared to the first season. If, if you spend $30, you get a ton of tables. So they just have less and less. And then season four, uh, Adam's Family is very popular, but they had to make modifications to the table, like Christopher Lloyd's not the picture for, uh, oh gosh, what's his name? Fester. Uncle Fester, yeah. Uh, Xenon's really cool, just the color of it. And, uh, the layout of the table. I've never played Starship Troopers. I've never seen the movie. Uh, I played Safe Cracker, I think, at an arcade. We may have played this in the last 10 years at somewhere. Uh, this one's supposed to be popular. Party Zone's supposed to be okay. Jackball we played not too far from us, but it was probably 15 years ago easily. Maybe more. I don't think more, because she would have been little, so. Okay. So. And that, that was pretty fun, but I don't want to pay $5 alone for it. And again, it's a very small season, as you can see. And then it goes to, they highlight season 5, because that was the last season before they lost the licensing for Williams. And now mostly everything is just uh, Stern. There's an actual app for Stern alone now on most systems. But uh, the only one that interests me out of this bunch, because I didn't care, I don't care for the Getaway or F14. I played those in the past. Uh, don't like Frankenstein, but Judge Dread I've never played before, so I might try the demo for a while and see if that's fun. But for today, uh, let's see, we've got this is the ones we bought so far. So uh, Tales of the Arabian Night I think is free with this so you get a full table so even if you download this you at least get one table and Tales of the Arabian Night is a pretty good pinball machine to get for free and and I bought Diner that was a five dollar one but they talk about how great this one is and it is pretty fun and it reminds me of Taxi I think it was made by the same guy because it has similar play mechanics as Taxi and then we just picked up Pinbot today and Pinbot comes for two for five dollars with Centaur and I've not played this at all even though I've had it for years and years but I played it a little bit today and it's actually a bit more complicated table than what it appears to be so I probably will give it a shot so we're gonna play Pinbot no we're not playing Pinbot we're gonna play Diner <laughs> I'm gonna play Diner because we haven't played this much I bought this one uh, a few years ago and only played it a few times, and I'm not sure about the mechanics, so we're learning as we go. So we'll, uh... If you go pro on these, it costs extra money, but you get to, uh, use the dip switches and do a lot of changes. And there's not a lot of games that the pro really matters, but on, say, uh, Elvira Scared Stiff, you can get different, uh, voice 
samples that they've got that are a little more mature that you can enable, but it doesn't change the gameplay much. I have it on one system and I, I've listened to them and it really, you know, it doesn't enhance the game that much. It's just a little cheeky, but not important. So, wizard goals, we haven't done any yet, so... That means we'll probably pick some up as we play this. Order up! You might pick some up. Maybe. <laughs> so I've turned that down just a little bit. My goodness, to just... We'll keep the ball alive, right? Yeah. Alright, so... Game setup. Let me go to that first, because I just found out that's the way you can't just add players. So you gotta do that first. Now, watch that clock up there and see what happens, because I know it's... It's spinning when you advance it, but I don't know what the point is. You can go, and we'll probably look at them after really quick, some of the uh, instructions. There's very detailed instructions on how to play these games, as opposed to the uh, little card that was on pinball machines there, which had you know, a handful of instructions in that little bit, which told you everything you need, usually. There's even, it goes into much more detail with the instructions built into this. So the goal on this somehow, and I'm not sure because we haven't played it much yet, is to boy, I'm not sure way, is to feed these people at the diner. They all want something. Like right now, this first guy wants a hamburger and fries, and the hamburger's the center targets. I gotta get all those down. Oh boy. And then um, the ramp I think is for the fries. Alright, so that just got me the first meal. Now what's next? Oh, or did I just get it there? Did it not give it to me the first time? It cashed out, it sounded like. I was busy watching the clock. It hasn't done anything. No, I haven't hit the spots to do it. I mean, you don't have to watch it permanently. I'm just saying, just... See, up in there, that little target right up in there? To the left of the bumpers? I think it advances the clock. So what's this guy want? Okay, I need, he needs fries now. I must have got him something else already. I missed it. Oh yeah, that drops in there. Something happens. You get a bonus and it comes out up top. And those are the rollers up top. You can move them with the... Yikes. I forgot about that spot. That spot's a nasty spot. When it rolls down there, we found out it goes right down the middle every time. It's the, it's the left one, the nudge, right? Uh, not that I'll remember to do that. Yeah. I'm really I, bad about shaking the table. No, I know. It's, it's not easy. But I don't think the tilt's on right now, so we can shake it as much as we want. Or, it is on, but it's much more forgiving than they used to be at first. My camera angles aren't set up the same okay. as yours, and I don't have to fix it. Um, catch the ball. I was going to say, next time you catch the ball. I tried to catch the ball, oh. but it went down. So the, the Y locks it, the view, and the B changes the view. So I just changed it for you real quick, okay. but we'll, we'll play a few games. So you can change with the B, you can change the angle of when you're launching, which actually I prefer like that so you can see the table. Um, I'm going to, and then the right analog stick you pull back. And see, so you can't get as much control on this view because you can't see. And then to lock the table, see how it brings it back down. If I hit the Y button, the table is locked in this view. So you get a lot of preferences. If I like to see the table more, I can... That's four. There's only four. Some have five. But usually two or three is the best. You can see the whole thing. Yeah, you can see the whole thing. But it's nice when it does the zoom in up top because you get to see what's going on better. Yeah. But then again, it's easier to play the table this way. So it looks like... Um, I still just gotta get the fries for this guy. And now we'll hear, uh... No, I need him again. I guess I don't quite understand it yet. Darn it. Oh, maybe the fries are those targets on the side right now. See how it's sometimes maybe it's... Yeah, see, the clock just advanced. 
I don't know why. I don't, I'm not picking people up in this one. That's taxi. Okay, well, you picked up their order. I picked up their order, okay. I brought them their order. Try to get that last target over there. I almost lost it. There it is. That didn't look good. I thought I was going to lose it. Oh, boy. There's a lot of tipping on this one, it seems. Which is funny because it's a, a diner. diner. But it seems like there's, the server. there's a lot of times when the ball's just coming at an angle where you don't really want to hit the flipper at it. You just want to tip. Do you want to change the angle of this? Yeah, or? Okay. It just goes up into that thing and gives you whatever number. And this is probably the best angle right here. So when it zooms down, you'll have a better angle than the before. You always start with burger and fries, huh? It seems so. And the, the ball is a little floaty on this one, huh? Like it's it's. I can't react fast. No, enough. and we haven't played a lot in a long time, so you actually, you know, you start getting more reactive and start learning how the table bounces over time, and it only takes about five or six plays to get better at it. So, you know, we'll give this about an hour and see how we do. So it must restart on every. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. You did the same. The taxi did that too, right? You had to pick. Up... Wow, you have to pick up everybody in one round. So that's one of the goals is to, and that probably will end up launching some sort of super multi ball. But I can count on two hands how many times I've played this. And I don't think I've ever seen this pinball machine in my life physically. And, you know, I've seen a lot of pinball in my day between, you know, just regular arcades and then, uh, you know, bowling alleys and stuff in the 90s. <sighs> yeah, it's tough to get used to the speed of things. But I'm sure by the time, you know, we're done this, it'll, uh, it'll look like we're professionals again. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got a match, but it doesn't do you any good. Not when you have bought it. Uh, I gotta go game so the are still, yeah, I gotta go there every time. Mm. I mean, the only time that helps you is there's some games that, uh, let you buy an extra ball if you have a credit. So it would have been an option for a free yeah. game, or if you're having a good game, you wanted one more ball to try and do something. Gotcha. Alright, let's change that. I know where I'm going, but you can see how you can... Those arrows were a key on the left and right of the, the plunger. People would figure out what distance they want to do skill shots and stuff. I don't know if this one has a skill shot or we just got to shoot it up in there. And it just gives you a random bonus or there's timing to it. That's fun. Well, that's an actual move that real good pinball players do, but I can't do that unless it's an accident. So I'm probably just going to try and keep this a little alive. Ooh. Wow. I'm surprised that went down that smooth on the side. Hmm. It just yeah, went when you think right it's going to bounce and it yeah. goes smoothly. I'll look up when this one was in. This had to be a, a early to mid-90s game, I'm guessing. Catch it on the flipper. Well, I, well, it does. Uh, if you look at the cost of it, it does. It is more expensive than some of the other ones we have. You know, yeah, see, two dollars instead of. You yeah, know, you got to put in two dollars to get the extra bonus. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I pretty much checked out at the era. So I'm gonna say, with that kind of cost, this is probably like '96. But I could be wrong. We'll look it up. I uh, can either look it up on the phone or... I'll have burger and fries. Or I can stop it after this and we can go and there's usually a description of the table. Wow, wow. Where it tells you all the different points. Not just that, but it gives you a uh, like a like an info sheet on 
when it was released and stuff, and who designed it. And and we don't have any idea what that does yet. Whoa, it gets fast sometimes. It's funny because it's kind of floaty at times, and all of a sudden it'll just take off. Oh, I forgot. See? It's going to be something we're going to use to... We're going to need to learn to bump when it's up coming down that, that little spot because it drains a lot. Plus 1% tip. That's not very good. Not anymore. Now it's auto-tipping, right? And you don't even see the people. Someone just brings it to you in a car and... Changed in 17, 18 years. Hey, get that out! We don't expect that to die like that. Huh. Yeah. I passed back out, so I thought I was gonna get lucky. Well, I wish I wish they'd let you set like your bump, your table bump, because if you really want to you end up pushing it all the way mm. and it gives it a big bump but i wish they'd let you set it to say like your your full force bump is like soft or medium or hard because you can like do little like look at this little bumps or big bumps but when you're flipping the flippers you don't have the ability to do a gentle bump with your thumb you're gonna just full force I'm gonna flick it. you're just gonna yeah And we haven't been up to that saucer up there. There's a saucer up there, or a bowl. Maybe it's a soup bowl that it looks like you got to get the ball up to, and it's going to spin around up in there on that the ramp on the right. Okay. We haven't locked the ball yet. We haven't done anything. We don't know how to play. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I can get under there. That's a locked ball. See, it said locked. I don't know how I locked it. And it's so funny because some games it seems so difficult at first. When you learn how to play them, sometimes they get really easy and you're like, wow, I didn't realize that's, like I said, fun house. Once I learned how to do stuff. Yeah, they're easy for you. Yeah. When we first got it on the Wii, I Oh, I got a little monkey ball here. Oh, you got it into the ball! Oh, good, good. Hey, I completed a goal. It's just spinning, it's spinning. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It's, it's one of those... drop down through in a second there, guys. It's one of those spin balls. See, it looks like that ramp is lit over there, but... I just lost it already. Oh, you lost the ball. Yeah, well, that was exciting, but... Even though I didn't know what I did. Oh! Quick thing like this can pass it from one side to the other, and I didn't want to hit that, and I did. Good. Alright. And the big key is learning to trap the ball and actually make the shots you want. Yeah. You learn how to trap it, though. You well, know when to, when, to... when to trap it, like how, how much it's going to go, and you can always pass it, which is good. I I'm trying. Whoa! I'm not going to hit it. I'm trying to get that root beer over there. Still didn't nudge it. The target on the left. It's coming right down the middle. You didn't but, try to nudge. No, I didn't. I know. It's too fast. That was too fast. Hey, I got a four percent tip. I don't know if that was something. Well, you started at one. So is that's this still good. me? It didn't change to player two. So yeah. I'm player one. Yeah, it's me still. Serve again. It says. I just felt like that was weird. That it. Right. I must have got an extra ball in there somewhere. Chili and a root beer. Uh, root beer. Still this time for something. What do I want? What in a root beer? <laughs> I don't remember, but root beer is the only thing flashing. Yeah. 
Order. Damn it. <laughs> I got the order and... See, I, I, I don't know how many people I got. They're all lit. I think you got all but one. All but one, yeah. One all the way on the left. Uh, he was he wanted a root beer and something it just started flashing. well he was he's the guy that says he wants a hot dog usually and something so maybe it does oh no because it continued I got an extra ball you don't lose all your stuff remember usually whatever you've achieved on that ball before you don't lose and that looked like that was gonna bounce just like that that was all Then it's something else to see people that master these machines. Uh, what do I enter? Oh, all these. See? Oh, oh, I'm looking down at that. Yeah. See the A down there? I'm not looking up. Okay, I'm doing this right. I'm looking at that A thing. It's going to change. That's just the A button. score and get a credit for it. That doesn't matter. Now maybe we can match. Go, go back, go back. Really? You see I your like highest it. score? Oh, obviously when I played this a couple years ago, I did pretty well on it. I didn't know what I was doing, probably. <laughs> That's why. Alright. Let let's go to the table menu. Go to extras, table history. All right. Oh, jeez, this is a 1990 game. It was costing that much back then. Wow. Just over 3,500 made. Yeah, there it is. Mark Ritchie. Uh, Steve Ritchie's his brother. He's another one that created some great tables. Those two have made so many good tables. I see. You spelled diner, and that's how you get to get in the cup. Ah, yeah. All right. So let's uh, oh, let's look at the flyer. Why not? Can I zoom in on this? Oh, that's a zoom. It's a nice back glass. It is. It looks like the uh, A1 diner downtown. It looks just like the diner that's in our well, one town over. We're West yes. Gardner. They're in Gardner. Pretty cool. So those are the flyers that would come when they tried to pedal these to arcades. And, oh, can we do custom balls? I'm gonna try and uh, see if we can see a little better with a custom ball. Green usually stands out pretty good. Yeah, with that play field it should. I'm not buying a custom ball. You can buy them, I am not doing that. All right, someone's deciding to chop down a tree outside. I don't know if it'll get picked up. So wizard goals, goals. Oh, Let's look see. at that! Your cup bonus. That's what we got. Yep. Score ramps. So these these make it fun too. Um, and the first one for Williams Arcade for uh, the Wii, we've got every wizard goal except one. Is it on Sorcerer? There's one on Sorcerer we never got. Where you got to get through all of them in one ball. Yeah, it's crazy. You I can't spell everything in one ball. But you got to do it a few times or something, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. And that's the only one we never got on that. No. Did we ever get to... Uh, did I finally do that on Pinball? You know how you got to get all the planets and... Oh, yeah. I think, I think you I, did. I, was, I, think I, I, I spent that. hours and hours and hours trying that and I gave up. Yeah, it's so hard because the ball drains a lot on that. But we can try that again when we play this version. So it looks like what the clock does is it advances. The, that word in the middle of the clock is million. So, I mean, so, see, this is the thing. Like, look at that. 250 bits of instructions. So, like, what you want to do is... Yeah, I'm just trying to see if there was something for the time. Or, it is dying time. If you read that, that's the clock. Dying time, okay. 40 sections on this. Yeah, alone. So we'll just sift through them. Alright, we serve all them. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's been served. 
Oh, did I? I must have got them all? No, I don't think I did, so this must be something different. So as you advance it, you so, want to... so here's how how to advance a clock at least, and that'll get us more bonus points when we get like a jackpot or something, huh? Okay, when that's lit, when it's lit there. See, and this is why it's good to look at the table because we can't read all this stuff even at 1080p. Um, you can't read this as as well as when you zoom in like that. This is a really great table for 1990. You know, I should have known because it has a basic uh, LED screen back there. Not LED, it's not even LED, it's just like the, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a dot matrix. Oh. You know, they became, they had LED screens later in the 90s. Which is probably why I missed it, because it just wasn't anywhere around. Okay, so that's, you guys can see that, you know, there's a lot of fun to be had for a pinball game if, if you learn the rules. But, you know, it's fun to just kind of discover them on your own sometimes. I'm going to do a game setup again, or it's just going to be one player again. Oops. Continue. Alright. I might be wrong. This might not be as easy to see. Ah. Uh, see, that's what you got to do. you gotta, you got to be able to change that. It looks really weird on here, doesn't it? I like passing from one flipper to the other, but this one's a little aggressive the way it passes the flipper, so it's hard to catch. It's not like you can just pass and catch it. You gotta pass and flip. Come on, man. You are too slow. Alright. I'm just gonna try and shoot that ramp and see if I can get the ball back to the other side easier. This does not. See, I prefer Order. seeing. Give me the chili and a root beer. The full table all the time. There we go. I should remember that from now on. When it kind of shoots out there, it goes to the last spot. See, there's one of those things where it's like you got to tip it. Tip. Ooh. Do you see what it did there? When I went around that, it lifted up the the left ramp. So that's why I let it roll down and over to the right and then flicked it back up there. Not that I could do that again if I was trying. I mean, I wanted to do that, but I just got lucky. <laughs> Gorby's uh, left over from... Oh, this is Boris, not Gorby. Gorby was in Taxi. Ooh. That was some sort of spinner bonus there. Oh I got God. another one coming out. See, some people will do this. They'll try and save a ball and just use one flipper. Some of the pro players beat the rush. I couldn't get that anyway. Hurry up, partner. It's lost. No, don't lose it. I <laughs> lost it anyway. The way it went so well. Well, you get too fancy, you know? You start thinking you can actually handle it. Got a 3% tip. See, I'm not good at playing a real pinball machine because I don't like bumping it a lot because my wrists hurt. Playing pinball, but I can my wrist can hurt just from like leaning on it while you're playing. But you know, it's on a digital version like this, you're never gonna get the control of the table that you get playing the real the real thing. So this moving along pretty fast and you're uh, keeping up with it.
I'll tell you what, one machine, like sometimes you're a little slow when it comes down the, the inside rails there. Really? I haven't all day. One machine that I have a lot of trouble with is uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon because there's that bowl that sits over the the right flipper and it'll pass down through there sometimes really? and I don't notice it I'm always late with it. Whoa, that was brutal. I was trying to flick it up to get the whatever is on the left side there and I didn't get the targets and it went crazy. We should look up how we get what what the point of that is too, just shooting it up there. I shall have That's the another thing people can do with dead stops on real machines, which I'm not good at. Oh, that's true. If you hold this too, if you hold your flipper, and then you flip the other flipper, you can see you can roll through look high scores. But it goes through, you know, what ball you're on. Oh, I gotta hold it again. What if I hold this one? See, I held that. I haven't all day. And you you just get some information about your game. Three customers served. Already? That's what it said. Alright, what does she want? You see, to the... Up the ramp and the targets here. Targets. Oh no, I don't like to look at that. Alright. Really? I haven't all day. I intended right there. Ooh. Ah, I didn't get to do it again, but I got something. I did serve her. No! Oh, you need both. You need both, both the drops. What, what are we on? Only ball two? Okay. Okay, you got, you got another shot. I haven't done anything. So your percentage tip must be based on um, how many people you served. You think so? Because last time you had three and you were three people served and then you got that one and now then it just went up to four people served. I shall have the iced tea and the Frank Frankfurter. That's a good tip. Do you like this angle or do you want the angle like I got? That's good. It doesn't seem to matter which angle it's at, I can't <laughs> keep up. This angle's a little tougher for me than this is the two? I don't know, I don't no, know. you said you'd set it, so... See, I'm on three. Well, I put it... I just set it that one time and it was on two. Right, so you're working on both sets of drop targets. That was nasty. Oh, okay, so you're supposed to be working on Is it changed the player to so turn. Extra ball at six million. Oh, I'm halfway there. That's how I got it last time. I got six million. So I got an extra ball. It's probably a good way for us to look up how to get an extra ball because sometimes that's the best way to do it, like try and get an extra ball on your first man. See that's a tactic they use. Get it up under the left ramp. You'll get a, uh, you'll get really? a lock ball. I don't like that right side. It's it likes to drain. That's it. Really? Uh, you matched. I broke a million. I hadn't done that before. No. Well, that's what it is. You just play and play again, right? You get better. I let it go up to the back last year. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's really good. just got to see the table. It'll drop back down, then it'll raise up. Babs. Okay. Was that the was Babs the nickname of? Because it sounds like Margaret Thatcher more, doesn't it? Like it's got that English. Oh yeah, it's got a, a British, British accent a bit. Yeah. yeah, and Babs. I usually think of uh, 
the singer there, Barbara Streisand. Mm. They call her Babs, didn't they? Yes. What extra ball seems to be that left? Right towards the grill bonus. Yeah, the, the target up there, the square target, and the grill bonus. Yeah, when that's lit. So let's look and see if we can see what. Um, oh, instructions. Let's see what the extra ball. Is there an option in here for extra ball? Extra balls. All right, this is only 13, so there are a few ways to earn extra balls. We know that one already because we got it. When you collect the extra ball reward from today's special. So that's yeah, just so a that's random. Yeah, multiple things. That, yeah, because yeah, random... when you get it in there, it does a random. You see it. Mm -hmm. It's not like you hit your flipper on this one from what I can tell. You know how sometimes there's mm -hmm. ones where it rolls through and you hit your flipper and it does it. See, there's lots of stuff hidden in there. Is there something funny there? It says eat and get out above it. Yeah. Start your something. Stuff, here. stuff your face here. Mark's world famous chili. Dine alone. Um, Dieters feel free to browse. Yep, and get in here. So you know they put lots of funny things on these tables. All right, so that's special. Refer to the. Okay, I'm not gonna do that yet. Extra ball can be lit until it's collected at the real target. Now, how can it be lit? How do you get that? So shooting the ramp a lot advances that. So that's the thing to do, shooting that ramp. That's like in Pinbot, there's going up into that little hole, like where the extra ball is on this one next to the ramp. There's, there's a, a consolation extra ball if your total play time after the four, first two balls is less than 40 seconds. If what? <laughs> so if you really suck, <laughs> give you an extra ball. Wow, well that's nice. If your total play time after the first two balls is well, let's try that. Which means you can't have it bounce around a whole lot up top. No. Because that'll, that'll take... Well, and, you know, I, I'd have to see if this is one of those ones that, you know, says, you know how there's a lot of the ones that it, if it drains too quick, they mm -hmm. give you another chance right away. This right. must be before that. All right, let's try and get the extra ball by being bad. All my time here. Give me the chili and a root beer. All right, I think that was less than 20 seconds, right? Am I doing the same thing? Uh, if you do it by accident on the first one, I'd say continue <laughs> to try. Let me practice is what you're saying, so I can try and get that. If it happens naturally, you'll say you did it on purpose. But, you know, that's why uh, it's important to know the rules of the table. Order up! Ooh, I got an order up! I shall have the iced tea and the Frank's butter. You just did that. So that ramp on the left is pretty important. And you can get in there. Whoa. I was looking at where it was flashing yeah. and trying to think about where I had there. to hit it. <laughs> and it bounced back down that so fast. I'm going to try and not get it in there so it will go down quicker. Alright, I managed not to get it in there. Do I get it now or later? I don't know. Or maybe we misunderstood that.
All right. All right. Now am I supposed to drain it again? Is it just after the it's first two balls? Just after the first two, yeah. Now it doesn't say serve again, does it? Yeah. Or does it just light it somewhere? I can't tell if that's lit, can you? No? It didn't work. Hmm. I must have read something wrong. What flashes up in that ring? That keeps happening to you. Yes. Hits over there, drains down that side. Well, it doesn't drain. I'm not saying drain. It goes down the, it comes the down side super rail fast so fast. And I cannot react. See, a lot of times I'm not even reacting properly. I'm just hitting flippers. I don't understand why that didn't work. Well, what's it doing right now? Start. Yeah, it usually doesn't do this, does it? Like something's. You can eat your heart out at the diner. It, it, look, it's like something's going on. Yeah. What's the what start? I mean, usually it goes right back to. Yeah. It did something to it. It kind of goofed up the game. Yeah. Press start. There is no start. Huh. You see how the serve again's flashing? <laughs> Winners don't use drugs. Well, only because you decided not to play your first two balls did I score a higher score than you. Right, but what's going on? Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's kinda, confused. It's, it's definitely confused, so that's interesting. That's interesting. Maybe someone knows what's going on. I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to step out here. What happens if you call the attendant? Yes, yeah, so let's call the attendant. Well, I'm not stuck. stuck canceling call attendant's request. <laughs> uh. it, it, it freaked it out. Wow. There is no start button. The start button's usually just the A button. Mm -hmm. Well. Guess you gotta exit the game. We gotta exit and come back in. I'll be I'll be interested to see what that turns out to be. Are you sure you wanna exit? No, I don't want to, but I Okay. That worked. Game set up. Players. Two. Okay. Maybe it only works when it's just one player. Uh, maybe. That was interesting, though. Something was something was hosed up. Don't blame me. I'll have burger and fries. Actually, it's really good. Hamburger and fries. <laughs> find good place to get burgers and fries or mm. it's getting real hard to find good pizza. All the good places close down all the time. Give me the chili and a root beer. Yeah, I mean, when it, you know, it, when it costs nearly $40 for three people to eat at McDonald's. You know, it's uh much more preferable to get a pizza, I think. I'll have that Texas chili and fries. Uh, 
doesn't usually do that from there, but you kind of hit it right on the oh, weird spot. Of course button. I did. I do that a lot. I don't exactly have finesse. Thankfully, I'm not overly really competitive about it. I just like playing. All right. You know, <laughs> well, that's the thing. I mean, and when we don't have to, you know, actually pay quarters or no. dollars to play. Well, think about it. I mean, even back in 1990, they're saying five games was two dollars, mm -hmm. right? This cost us 4.99. So oh, yeah. if we would have put in two dollars and two dollars and then a dollar, what would that have given us? six games each. No, well, two fives. Right, and then a dollar would have gotten one more round of each of us playing a game. Right. So we would have gotten six games each. Oh, oh yeah. I get or you. six each. games playing two players. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, oh, I have a lot open. So these are a great deal, these pinball machines, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it coming. Well, if I see it coming, I don't know why I'm not flicking my thumb on that to just oh, to try I'm and get the ball. Nudging it, trying yeah. to see what can happen. All right, even just going down straight down the middle. If you nudge it right before it's about to hit the flipper, if the table's gonna slide. You might hit the flipper. Now you get to the point where it's instinctive. That's like when when we played pinball, we got really good. You can swear. <laughs> But remember on Pim Pimbot, if you go up and you get into the thing and it drops yeah, down into the bumpers, it would drain immediately. It would come out and it would drain off to the left. So we'd learn that when it was coming out of there, you'd hit it right before it came out to change the trajectory of the ball. What determines who goes first? Because my first person this last time was not the and prize guy. I'm guessing I was wrong. It does retain who you've got. Yeah, no, it seems to do that because it's, ah, that was it's accruing over the whole thing if you actually finish getting everything and serve. Yeah. But I don't understand how it determines who, whose order. It's always, you're going uh, after it's always first. The, the Russian guy. No, he wasn't my first one. Oh. So I got the I got the Texas guy. Oh, okay. If you wanted chili and fries, uh, and uh, I'm sure I had uh, Pepe first. Right. So I haven't gotten burger and fry guy yet. There you go. You oh, got I got into the soap Oh, the cup. It's a cup. That's right. If someone out there knows what the deal is with who goes first and whatnot, just let us know. Cup bonus. Cup of noodles. Partner. Alright, now you got the buck. The lock and catch. Nasty, nasty, nasty. I got up over four million because I got it up in the cup. Was that third ball? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, if you would have got six, you would have got an extra one. We matched. Yeah, but what, what good is it doing us? Yeah, none. Because we bought the table. <laughs> That's right. And when we first got the game... Well, um, that was different because... That, it was how you kept going and that way you could unlock goals and get to the point where it was free. Yes. In, in the game, when you got on a, a, a disc, the physical game, because this is... They didn't put a physical version out for the Wii. I would have bought it. Um, I mean, the Wii U. The physical version started with a couple of tables that were free. And you could play those and earn credits. And then you could play um, credits on other machines. And as you got more wizard goals and stuff, mm -hmm. you would eventually unlock that for free play too. But that's when matching was really important, was so you didn't have to keep using up your credits and you could right. keep working towards those goals. Oops. I just chose one player. I'll, I'll do this one and then I'll switch it back. Or I'll just give you a single player and then I'll switch it back. Competitive nature. Hey, it might not take long. I said I'm not. It's good that I'm not competitive <laughs> about this. Kitty. I do have one. It's not competitive. No, I I had to not get competitive about it because you're so much better than I am. 
I'm not through when I hear. I shall have the iced tea and the frankfurter. I do think you're right, though, using the, um, we and the nunchuck. The nunchuck is so much more comfortable. It's, and, it's a little in, more comfortable than having to hold that. And responsive. I wish they would have allowed you to, we just tried it to connect a Wemo, a Wemo and a nunchuck to this and really? use those as a controllers, but it wouldn't it. allow it. And it doesn't allow you, like other things, uh, older games that use game pads and stuff, let you use, like think of the NES, you could use the button, the A uh, or B button plus the D-pad for the other side of the flippers. And I wish even that, because sometimes pushing some games with your thumb is easier than using the triggers. I'm not a big trigger fan, because I didn't grow up with triggers, you know? Started playing old school stuff back in the 70s and really? 80s. I all wow. But, you know, if we start playing this for a year, we'd probably get comfortable with it. Mm, sure. Just happened over Order. time. Yeah, I never got into playing the games on the iPad because I didn't like have the tactile screen with my phone. Yeah, phones. it's 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 not easy on there. They look great. They look really good. Oh, see, I missed something. That special was flickering up there, right there, and it must be when I go down a an inner lane there to the flipper. Paying attention to my bonus stuff here. That it would trigger something. Too. Well, because it's not lit, I'm not getting anything, see? And I just forgot about the bonus game. I don't like that bounce right there. You see how it's lit now? See, is that giving us bonus as it spins yeah. around? See what's going Whoa, on. it looks like it's all, it almost picked just, up a little speed yeah, there. Yeah, you got, you got bonus rebellion with that. Alright, I got a lock up here too. We haven't got multi balls through the locks yet. So, that's interesting. Give me the chili and a root beer. I don't think so. That's a root beer already, you just need to get the chili. I think I gotta shoot these ramps more. Try for those extra balls. Oh, I flipped it wrong. Whoa! Oh, see, that's. that's special is lit up there. Not special, but the pipes! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Some interesting bouncing around was going on. Whoa, that came back fast. Eh? Eh? You saved it. There, it's flashing now. See, now it'll go through that. Give me a... Start multi-ball. Ooh, multi I got a multi-ball. What's this gonna do? Hurry up, partner. Here comes the rush. No, I'm gonna lose it before I even get to use the multi ball. Sheesh. That's the rush, eh? The bum rush. Hurry up, partner. Do I get the extra ball on this? Moving a little fast for my taste here. Dang it! Did I get the six million? Give me a lot of bonus. I didn't get a lot of bonus. Uh, is this me? Yeah, considering. Oh, that's right. Players. I forgot. Okay, I can still get the six million. I need a burger and fries now. Ooh, almost there. Alright, I got the 
six million extra ball, right? Yeah. It's 20,000 a trip around. You're flashing 80 now. You gotta get to 100,000 before that ranch is gonna give you an extra ball. Oh! Alright. Extra ball is lit. And it's in that. It's in the grill thing. Yeah, it's the it. grill. Stay, stay, stay. Nice! Okay, you got an A too. Damn. So, I mean, all you can do is just kind of flick your thumb at it to try and... Mm -hmm. Alright, I got two extra balls. Mm -hmm. I'll have burger and fries! Everything's going a little too wonky right now. I thought that would tip it. It didn't tip it. It's pivot, right? Mm -hmm. See if you can get the get french fries. Oh, I gotta get here. Ooh. Is it the ramp or the side? The side, the drops. Sheesh. That is interesting. Jeez. <laughs> Not quite. I was what you thinking too to. hard. I thought it was gonna go right down the center and I actually made it worse. So far to go to get to it. Well it starts you over at A two each time. Because your next two are not far apart, but Out of all that stuff I did, I didn't get any uh, wizard goals, though. Might have made the controller a little sweaty. No, that was no good. <laughs> Jeez. That's about as crappy as a bounce you can get. It's strange how sometimes everything can feel so floaty and slow, and then suddenly everything's banging around like lightning. I'll have burger and fries. See, and that's the thing that's tempting is to shoot those middle targets and stuff. But those middle targets can make the ball drain right down the center sometimes. You know, they know, well, they, they know what they're doing. But to pick people up, you gotta hit the targets. You gotta hit them. I, uh, you know, choice. Isn't that the objective? Not to pick people up. You keep saying that. You're stuck on taxi still. Because all these people shouting at me, it sounds just yes. like it. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's stirring the cup. Play one more round. I don't understand what that star in the cup thing was. I missed it. It was just up on there. It was showing a little graphic. I don't either. It just looked cool. I'm saying this isn't even Doc Matrix. <laughs> Shouldn't have told me that it wasn't even in the 90s. Because it wasn't Dot Matrix or LCD. It was just the regular numbers. But it's where they started putting in the, uh, you can see the X patterns in there and stuff, and the plus patterns that let them make, like, little cute graphics in there. Let's 
just a shame there's no place for this stuff anymore. But I mean, you know, 50 cents a game, which I think is what it is mostly now. Come on, man, you are too slow. Um, maybe some places are like 75 cents, you know, and a dollar's two games. But, you know, the value of a quarter back then, I mean, when I started playing pinball, there were 10 cent games still kicking around. You know, games from the, the 60s and 70s. Come on, man, you are too slow. Now, those were really basic games. But when you're a little kid and you got 10 cents, and that's all you care about is you're playing a game. I mean, this is this is talking about playing at the corner. It wasn't a corner store, it was down the road from us, and that was uh, before they got Space Invaders, which you know, freaked everybody out. Like, what is this thing? Come on, man. I don't think I ever saw Pong anywhere. Maybe I did. But I remember seeing Space Invaders first. And that store down the road from us, when Space Invaders and Asteroids were out, they expanded their arcade area. So they had probably about seven or eight pinball machines and two or three arcade games. And then a few years later, arcades were everywhere in town. I said, I gotta do a thing that talks about just the uh, arcades that we had. I didn't the um, Between Lewiston and Auburn. And there's probably been other, another one in Auburn now. I was too young to... Oh, that stinks. I mean, I was too young to travel all the way to Auburn, but there were lots of arcades in Lewiston. And they were in, like, every convenience store. You had a few machines. I mean, there was one time, for a brief time... Um, Coddles became Hannaford, right? Yes. Yeah. So Coddles was the name of the grocery store. There were a few of them. They actually had an arcade machine or two in there. And it was right when you walked in the door, I think. I mean, I was a real little kid then. Here comes the rush! You know, and then there was something else for hey, you know, all good. Hurry up, partner. Not really. <laughs> Nothing was going anywhere. No. It happens sometimes, like you just can't get the balls to to zing around. Bang into each other. And that, that was the first time where you were excited about something other than just going and getting like when you leave the store, the things where you can get the bubble gum or the mm. or the little toy for twenty five cents or Maybe a nickel or dime, but that was usually just gum or something. Right? Yeah, the toy ones were usually poor. Yeah, I mean, I don't. You know, there probably were some ten cent. Uh, there probably were some ten cent ones, but it was probably just you'd get one of those little plastic things, like a plastic egg there that you'd pop open, and you'd get just a uh, like a, a tattoo that you lick. Mm. Really? Lick them. You stick a washcloth on them. You used to lick them back then. No, gross. When you were a little kid? Gross. You didn't go get a washcloth and you just you, you just lick your skin and stick it on it. You're gross. What do you mean? You don't remember licking your like your arm and sticking no. one of those things? <laughs> Where are you getting a washcloth when you leave in the grocery store? No, you don't do it then. Yeah, your parents you help you with it when you get home. You get Cracker Jacks. That's funny too because after no, I don't eat Cracker Jacks. They're gross. <laughs> after eating Cracker Jacks, you got all that crud on your tongue. <laughs> You're gonna lick your skin and, and stick yeah. that too. Yeah. Uh, well, there's the difference between boys and girls. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> we'll lick anything. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's play one more round. We'll play, uh, we'll play two, and we'll see if we get lucky. I think you can see, though, when you play a straight-out game on your own, you tend to do a little better, huh? Yeah, it doesn't interrupt the flow It doesn't, much. yeah. But I guess, you know, when something unfair happens, it's better to, to have that moment to calm down in between. No, 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 no! 
I'm just trying to get it up that other that ramp over there. Oh, it really kicks it out over there. I don't need to. Hurry up, partner. Shit. Okay. I'll wait till it comes to me. This is not happening. <laughs> Hurry up, partner. I, I'm trying. Did that lock up there? It, it did. It, it bounced, bounced in. <laughs> Woo! I shot right up there. Oh, I changed it right before. I'll have that Texas chili and fries. Jeez, one of those times where I'm not getting to anything. Whoa! I should have lost that and that. It's doing a lot, not doing anything. <laughs> Dude, oh, no. Let me hit the post that yeah, drain. I'm trying to get that so I can get that extra ball right away. I think that's a big goal is just to get an extra ball or two, you know. And... Dang. See those number whatevers? I don't know if they're, they're, they're totaling something. Whoa. Were you just stifled like you're like there's a there's a ball on the flipper? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought for sure it was gonna hey, be gone. Hey, ball! There you go. Thanks when you get multi ball and it just they don't they, they don't time out right. God. It's fast. <sighs> Someday you'll have the reflexes of a fifty year old man. <laughs> I'll have that Texas chili and fries. Well, you know, if I had if I was a couple years older and had more time in arcades like you, I might have better yeah. skills to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have had to develop them as a... Unfortunately, you have a life in sports. <laughs> so, you know, well, you I also developed. lived in a rinky-dink town that did not have arcades. You probably could you can kick a soccer ball there, right? Can I you put English on it? And the Frank that's, that's, a, that's a pool ball. What do you put on How do you spin up? You bend it like Beckham? Is that what, what, what did you call <laughs> it before that? That's the movie. Well, if you're, it depends on uh, your goal, whether or not you're trying to get any loft on the ball. And, Jeez. But my, my, my ball and stop them to stop people from scoring. Oh, you were... That's defense. Sorry. And when I was taking a corner kick, it was to lift the ball up and place it somewhere so they could do something. Well, I am very glad you've lost most of those skills in my Regularly able to score. <laughs> really, I haven't. Ooh! I didn't realize. Wow! I had a chance to ricochet all around the ramp and everything before the other one came anywhere near you. Oh well, there you go. Yeah, try that. Ah, I'm not gonna do that. Nope! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Did not work though. twice. <laughs> uh. It worked horrible. That's that's a working way. Oh. I thought it would react the same way it did not. Give me the chili and a root there. Oh, so is, is that the key you shoot up there? What triggers that? I think I did twice in a row. So. Oh, you got two right ramps. Ricochet. 
ricocheting all over the place, barely keeping it together. That Irish guy. Ricochet. Troublemaker. <laughs> like most Irish guys. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that roof there? I don't know any Irish words, that's the problem. Eek. Uh, looks like you're gonna beat me this game. Well, only because I got the cup bonus. What's the time on the clock over there, say? Uh, an hour and fifteen? Hour and something, alright. I'll have to trim this down a bit and we'll do the best of <laughs> So it'll be about a ten minute video. Oh, I did beat you, just barely. You did. There you go. Alright. But you feel nothing because you have no competitive nature in you for a pinball. You feel nothing. I could be a little, little oh, proud that I, on a fluke I beat you right. with no real skill. <laughs> uh, it just takes this practice. Is, this is a game of skill, but it's all luck for me. <laughs> it's it's luck and skill. That's why they had to keep it legal. I don't know. They banned it in New York, right? Yeah. I don't know where else they banned it, but I can't imagine. I mean, I grew up with it, and I'm th I'm thinking it's it's New York City. You know, people from New York City. Must know about pinball, but to, what through the whole sixties and seventies and even eighties, I think it was. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. I did a report on it once, and I don't remember when they stopped banning pinball machines. But they did determine because I think it might have been one of the designers. So that proved it. Yeah, there were skill shots uh, and such. Yeah, there's there's a, a it's free on something special when lit. Mm. It's a pinball documentary. People should watch it. It's uh, it's on like Tubi or Amazon Prime or something. But they should watch that. And they, they show about how there was a guy that actually had to testify by playing pinball. He testified to either the, the, the state congress or something like that or the officials. And because he was able to manipulate the ball properly and show them that there was skill involved, they said it was no longer a game of chance. So... They took the ban away. So that's a little that history that may not be fully true. <laughs> Look so, it up yourself. It's something like that. It's something like that. All right. So there we are. There's Diner. Diner. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.